Many people ask me what IDE I use for developing C programs. So I'll be using CodeBlocks IDE that is Integrated Development Environment in this whole video series on C programming. So in this video I'll be showing you how to download and install CodeBlocks. I'll also be executing a simple program just to show you, just to make sure you get started. So go to codeblocks.org, click on downloads link and then binaries here. I'm on Windows machine. You can pause and check this file name that is mingsetup.org. Click on these links to download the exe file. The video moved along quite quickly. You can pause the video and select the same exe file. Don't worry about the version of it. Make sure to download the latest one. That's it. The ming compiler should be there along with this exe file so that you need not install that uh, C, C++ compiler separately. So the code blocks is open source cross platform IDE. It comes with GNU GCC compiler by default. So no need of installing any other plugins or software along with this. So we have create new project link here or else we can come to file new. We have project here. So other important links are build menu. Here we have build and run. Let me go ahead and create a project for you right now. Select the console application. That's what we'll be working on. Click on go. And make sure to select C program. Give title to your program. I'll give my company name, name Technotip. Select a folder where you want to save these source file, object file, exe file, etc. I'll create a folder called Technotip here. I'll show you what files get created once you execute a simple program. Select this. Okay, everything is fine. Next. Make sure you have a compiler selected here. GNU GCC compiler is mine is installed in my installed in my computer so main.c has a simple template program here i'll show the folder here c let me go to c folder and inside technotip folder we have this main which is what you are seeing on the screen so go to editor settings i'm simply showing you some of the options of this editor which will be useful for you. I'll increase the text size so that it will be more visible on the screen. So this is a simple program. Forget about that ash include thing there. I'll explain it later on. This is main method that is function which returns an integer value. So we return zero here. So forget about that. Whatever you write inside this printf function will be displayed on the console. So build build is nothing but compiling the program so build log zero error zero warning zero zero okay now run the program hello world you have it the first program congratulations simple but yet a big stepping stone i'll change the string here i'll write it my first program save it make sure to save it always Whenever you change the program, there are zero errors, zero warnings, and here you go, my first program. So don't worry about this program. I'll explain the source code in the next video. I just showed you the main options of this code block IDE so that you can get started immediately. So go ahead and download and install this code blocks IDE and from next, next video onwards, we'll get started with simple programs and within no time you will get familiar with a lot of things in C. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. And do not forget to like this video on YouTube and stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and to our blog. Thank you.